So really quick, I wanna talk about our style here at ACA Test Prep. A couple of things you should know is that number one, we are decidedly relaxed. It's important to us. Uh, you know, one of my little catchphrases is, if you're not having any fun learning, you're doing it wrong. And uh, I firmly believe that that is true. Uh, I would even go as far as to say, if you're not having any fun teaching, you're doing it wrong. Learning, especially learning about this cool stuff that we get to learn about, creative software, learning how to just say what it is that you want to say in the most expressive, communicative way, that's super exciting. And if you're not having fun, you're, you're missing part of the picture. So a couple things about our uh, style. We're very relaxed, intentionally very relaxed. Uh, occasionally we'll get emails where people say, well, you know, we feel, you know, one of the students complained because the trainer took 30 seconds to tell a joke. <sighs> I don't even know what to say to that. Like what kid, I don't, I'm not sure I even believe that one. What student complains because there was a little joke in the instruction, right? To lighten the mood and make it a little bit more fun. Um, so our, in, our style is intentionally relaxed. We believe that it really facilitates learning. There's some research to back that up. If you're curious about it, you can email us in and we may even post a couple of things here on this page, but uh, that's definitely our approach. The other thing that we wanna make sure that we always do is we make this as real world as possible. So we try to find projects that students can relate to that are just a lot of fun, that look really cool. Uh, sometimes in educational materials, it's just like the most boring clip art and it's pictures of like pencils and apples and you're gonna make a school website. That is not cool. It's not cool or fun. So um, we try and create things that are real world, right? So what as a designer might you be hired to do? Maybe a fashion ad or a film festival or a music festival. We try to make the curriculum as real world as possible in order, as well as the delivery, because when you're working around creatives, it tends to be kind of fun. Um, and the last thing is that there's also some concern, especially since Creative Cloud, that uh, you know sometimes the interface looks a little bit different. There's an update mid-year maybe, and there's a color change in the interface, or the icons look a little bit different. And what I've begun doing in the curriculum, you'll see it in Photoshop and Illustrator already. Uh, and I'm planning on kind of rolling this out across the whole curriculum and asking all of the trainers to do this. But while you're learning the software, we're gonna change versions of the software as well as the operating system. So we'll do a little bit on the Mac, we'll do a project on the PC. And the point is that it doesn't matter doesn't matter what version of the software you're using. It doesn't matter what operating system you're using. If you can't adjust to a little bit of change in the shade of gray that the interface is made out of, or the magic wand looks a little bit different, so now you don't know what the tool is, you know, you're just not gonna make it in this industry <laughs> because the software changes fast, but even faster than those changes are the design trends. And if you can't keep up with those and you can't be aware of kind of what's happening and adjust to those changes really easily, this is not for you. You wanna to stick to something that's, that's not progressing as fast, it's not changing as fast, something that kind of stays pretty steady. Um, so those are some of the reasons that uh, our style is the way that it is. We're all classroom educators and we like having a lot of fun in our class. We find that it keeps the kids more engaged. They enjoy our class. We have less discipline problems. All of these are reasons that we just think that the environment of the classroom should be relaxed, really fun, and that the students should have as much ownership over the projects as possible. If they wanna customize it, put their own text in, put their own pictures in, that shouldn't be discouraged, but encouraged, because the more that the student has ownership of the project, the more they're they'll care, the more they'll be involved, the more they'll be paying attention to make sure that this thing that they really want to create looks as good as it can.